So in S3, when you make a request, there's actually two different styles of, of requesting that information. And the, the first is the virtual hosted style requests. Uh, this is where the bucket name is the subdomain on the host. And then you have the path style request. This is the bucket name uh, is in the request itself. Confusing? Don't worry, we'll show you uh, much more clearly right now. So uh, on the left-hand side, the idea is that when you have that request, um, the bucket name is in the host uh, uh, here, as you can see. So it's up here. And then for the path style request, it's actually part of uh, the path, which gets appended to the end here. So why did they uh, make this switch? I have no idea. There probably is a logical reason for it. Uh, probably has to do with something with DNS uh, or something like that, but uh, there's two of them. And path style was the original vir vir virtual hosted style, I believe is the newer style. So S3 supports uh, both the virtual hosted style and the path style URL. Path style URL will, uh, URLs will be discontinued in the future. So for the time being, they both work, but it's best to uh, utilize virtual hosted. Now, I think that, um, I would like to think that it, the AWS CLI is always using the virtual hosted style path, but uh, you can globally set it to uh, force it to use virtual. So if you're not sure which one it's using, you can absolutely uh, configure that. And there is a point where it's very important that we make sure we use virtual because some features of S3 will not work unless it is set to the virtual hosted style. So I had to point that out there. But yeah, it's just a, a change in terms of how that data is delivered as opposed to in the path to being as a subdomain in the, uh, the host there, okay?